Let's discuss scapular motion. Your scapula, otherwise known as your shoulder blade, is a key component to proper function of your shoulder, your upper back, your neck. If we think about it, there's 17 muscles that attach into that scapula, from the shoulder, from the thoracic spine, ribs, uh, even into the, uh, the vertebrae. So we can't emphasize proper scapular motion enough. When we think of the ratio of motion between the scapula and the shoulder, it's a two to one ratio. So the scapula being the one and the shoulder being the two. So if there's any dyskinesis, meaning abnormal scapular motion, you're gonna see effects of this abnormal motion up and down the kinetic chain. It's gonna affect shoulder function, possibly into the neck and the thorax. So you definitely wanna make sure that the scapula is moving properly. Now, at the clinic, we commonly prescribe two key exercises to help improve scapular motion in our patients. Uh, one is similar to a stretch, and the other one involves more of a protraction and a retraction, meaning the scapula gliding forward and then gliding back. And we've got Mickey here to help us demonstrate. So we're going to start out with the uh, scapular uh, type of stretch uh, motion, which Mickey knows quite well here, so she's going to show us. So as you can see, she's bringing the arm up and pulling, helping to move things uh, in terms of scapular motion. If we have Mickey uh, turn to the side, yeah, there we go. Let's show the uh, other one as well. So do the protraction, retraction. Yeah. So as you can see, protraction involves the scapula gliding forward, and then retraction involves the scapula gliding back. Now, if you could face me also one more time. So we're going to do that first exercise just one more time so you can actually see the scapula move here. So we're going to do that stretching one. Yeah. So as you see, as Mickey helps by pulling the arm, you can see, visualize the scapula maybe as a triangle that's starting to tilt and move, kind of rocking back and forth in this way. So if you could just do that a few times. So you can really see that movement right there. And we'd actually have people perform it on both sides, just to compare. You're always looking at left and right. You want to make sure there's a nice balance between the scapula. And now let's do the uh, protraction retraction as, as well, so they can see from this angle. So this would be protraction, the scapula gliding forward across the thorax, and then a retraction, you can see them gliding back. So two key movements there that we prescribe to our patients. Once our patients have become familiar with the two exercises that we've prescribed to help improve scapular movement, we have them come to the clinic and we'll actually treat them while they're performing similar movements to those exercises. And we call that a motion specific release. By performing that release, we actually help to reinforce the changes that have begun to, to take place through the exercise. So we're going to have Mickey um, assist here. We're going to get into that first position, similar to the scapular stretch. And this isn't passive. Uh, Mickey's actually going to help with the movement, and I'm going to help to reinforce that movement and take it just a little bit further. I'm just going to get in position here. So we're going to have you bring your arm in. Good. There we go. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah. So at the end range here, I can really help just move that shoulder blade a little further. And I'm moving down the length of, of the scapula and really feeling for what's moving and what's not and really helping to reinforce some of the motion that we, we want to create here. Can you feel that? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So now I, I kind of moved on from the rhomboids. You can actually get right into the serratus. And when you think about it, I mean, you're following this continuous change of muscles as they come down and attach into and beneath the uh, shoulder blade. So it's a really great way to help reinforce changes. Now, the second exercise that we want to reinforce was the one that involved the protraction and retraction of the shoulder blade. We're going to change it a little bit in terms of uh, Mickey's arm position here. We're actually going to have her put the arm behind her back and then just perform a bit of protraction, moving forward, and retraction. Now, I'm going to get on the side of the shoulder blade again. And I'm going to have you protract, so yeah, moving forward and just following this around and reinforcing that movement. Can you feel that? Yeah. Yeah, you can really feel it at the end range. They're just kind of yeah. opening up. Yeah, and again. Good. There we go. And once again, Mickey's dynamic. She's assisting with this. She's not passive. So we're working together in terms of movement. There we go. Good. And one more. A bit lower. Yeah, you can really feel this gliding forward on the ribcage here. There we go. Good. And now we're going to do the retraction. And retraction, we're going to you know, contact the muscle on the front, primarily that pectoralis minor that ties right into that shoulder blade. 
So you can come into this position. There we go. Yeah. So now moving back into retraction. You can really feel that one. Okay. <laughs> and then, there we go. Doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, right at the end there. You can just feel it open up. Okay. And again. Good. Actually, it feels like we're getting further and further. It does. Yes. I feel like yeah. going from that. And that's the whole point. It's uh, getting a lot of movement in here. Good. And relax. Good. So, Mickey, now that we've performed the motion specific release on the right side, let's have you compare the two, left and right, and just tell us how you feel. My elbow doesn't even move over. <laughs> That's such a difference. I didn't even know I had any tight areas. I thought it was all loose, but yeah, this side feels more constricted now than it does this side. So I feel like I have okay, good. way more range of motion now. <laughs> That's kind of cool.